Everybody, this is Tracy here with another edition of a view from Tracy's Point Shorts and it looks like congratulations are in order to Miss Rashonda Lanfair um, yesterday or the day before I believe it was yesterday um, her brother posted pictures and video on his IG page um, from a baby shower and Miss Rashonda looks very much pregnant probably about six or seven months pregnant um, he also posted pictures from a photo shoot that she did and you can see in this short video clip um, one of those photos was a prop at the baby shower. So congratulations to Rashonda uh, regardless of what you guys may think about her or feel about her anytime um, a new life is created that is something to celebrate. And I know a lot of people, you know, have been speculating whether or not she is going to um, testify for or against Mr. Kelly. That remains to be seen. Um, in a video that I did a few weeks ago where I was reading one of the rebuttals from the Eastern District of New York, um, and I think it was the appeals response. It was the appeals document to, um, you know, where they're trying to get him released out on bond while he awaits trial, where they had these transcripts. Remember you guys, I was telling you that the document was like over 200 pages, but it turned out that a lot of the document was transcripts from previous hearings. And so one of those transcripts was from the um, Northern District of Illinois, where Angel Cruel was stating to the judge in that case that um, Ms. Lanfair, you know, was cooperating and that they had sworn statements from her where she in essence was saying that she lied in the first hearing and that that was her in the video and so we don't know if this is a scare tactic if she really is um, cooperating because there was a statement released by the family's attorneys that were basically saying that they were sticking to their story from the first hearing um, from the first trial where she was stating that it was not her in the video and that they were standing by that that they weren't coerced they weren't bribed they weren't sent out of the country and all these other things and so um, it still remains to be seen what is even going to happen in either one of those cases where she is concerned she is in the um, northern district of illinois case and she's also in the cook county case so we'll see but for the very moment um she seems to be happy she is pregnant she's celebrating her pregnancy um and so we're just going to be happy for her in this moment um you know for this joyous occasion in her life and so guys that's it for me leave your comments below let me know what you think are you happy for Rashonda? do you not care you know are you upset you know that she's living her best life at this moment let me know um oh and then one other thing you guys know that there is speculation that as um early as 2015 um her and robert had a friendship you know they were still connected with each other so that plays a big part in whether or not you know she would turn against him what happened um you guys know i've always said that when asriel clary showed up on the scene everything went to hell and so uh, if 2015 was the last time rashonda was seen um, with him we know that 2015 is when asriel showed up and so who knows but anyway leave your comments below rate the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and until the next time i shall talk to you guys later bye bye